This is a video working on a C11 engine installing the cylinder head onto the block. The engine block's been checked for flatness. We've done our line of protrusion and we come up with good results. We did want the deck milled again but it's at its final run. It's been milled a few times and this is as good as it's going to get. The liner walls have been coated with engine oil again and the deck thoroughly cleaned down with solvent. This is the gasket that come in our kit. It's one gasket, there's no shim for a spacer plate. These engines don't have a spacer plate like a C15 or a 3406. So once the block's clean, we lay the gasket on top. There's a dowel each side of the block to help you align the gasket. It can only go on one way, you can't mix it up. There's a little bit of engine oil laying in the bottom of the combustion bowls of some of the pistons. That's fine, that'll fly out when the engine turns over. As long as it's below the top of the piston, you're not going to hydraulically lock anything. Next is to clean the cylinder head up. This is a remand cylinder head, so it's ready to go. Just needs its rust protector removed. And then we just lift the cylinder head on and lay it down and use those dowels at each end of the block to guide the cylinder head onto the engine. We lowered it most of the way with the crane and then used the chain block to do the last inch just to have better control. We're going to be going through a particular torque down sequence that Caterpillar wants you to use when you fasten the head like this. So we've lubed our bolts up, thread underneath the head and the washer. And then we go put our bolts on, wind them down just till they touch. And then we go through this process of torquing it down. You tighten your long bolts first, 1 through 26 to 170 newton meters or 125 foot pounds. And rather than doing a typical spiral pattern outwards, you have to do them first over the cylinders and then you move to the outer bolts. I ran all these bolts down with a light impact gun just till they touched the washer and you'll see that I get a few turns on them before they click out at 170 newton meters. We actually torque this head down twice, that's what Caterpillar recommends you do. And just take note on how many turns I'm getting first go because when we do the head the second time, uh, you'll notice that I barely get a turn out and it's torqued down. So you see the effect of tightening the head gasket twice. The head bolts I'm using here are brand new ones. Um, it's not uncommon to reuse the old head bolts. The danger behind reusing old head bolts is you don't have the elastic strength of the bolt after a long service life. And um, so we made a call on putting new bolts on there. These bolts weren't particularly expensive. I know some engines getting a full set of head bolts can be quite expensive. These weren't too bad. So now I'm starting on the outer bolts, still on the long bolts, but now move to the outer ones. The torque wrench I'm using is a Warren and Brown half inch. Uh, they're not popular with a lot of people because they haven't got a ratcheting head, so it's a bit more effort when you want to turn a bolt. You've got to pick it up and move it each time. I get that. I like them for two reasons. They're not real expensive for a torque wrench and two they're extremely accurate these don't ever play up every time i take them to get them calibrated uh, they're never out more than one percent they're really amazing like that whereas those other um, ratcheting ones they can be out a fair bit so you have to watch them but with these Warren and browns i never worry about that so i'm now at the end of doing the bolts to 170 newton meters one through the 26 then we go to the center and we torque them again to the same torque of 170 newton meters and you can see that the bolt turns so the gasket has already crushed down somewhat as you can see i'm marking the bolt again that tells me it's been torqued twice to 170 newton meters
after we complete our torque down sequence to 170 newton meters a second time we need to turn the bolts 120 degrees so the bolt head has six points each point is 60 degrees apart so we use two points of the bolt and we get 120 degrees mark it on the block where it is now and then when you turn it you'll know exactly where 120 degrees is we mark it something like this so just like the other two torque sequences 1 through to 26 we move the head 120 degrees when I painted the head of the bolt the second time you'll see I went from point to point and then when I do my torque turn I line up the stripe with the mark on the cylinder head I left there and that way I know I've moved the head of the bolt 120 degrees and you go through and do like so. To get a good head gasket seal it's absolutely crucial you talk the head down exactly the way Caterpillar recommends it. I find this way of marking the bolt after each turn the best way not to get mixed up on which bolt you're on. If you had to you could put your tools down and come back to it an hour or a day later or someone else could come and finish it off and know exactly where you were and where to go. Just remember I don't have to mark these bolts after the 120 degree turn because I've got a mark on the head and that stripe lines up with that mark on the head so I can't get mixed up I know which ones I've done. So after we finish our torque turn sequence 1 through to 26 we loosen all the bolts off and the way you loosen them off is the exact opposite way you tighten them up so I'd start right at the last bolt I did and I'd loosen it and then I'd go through to 25 and then I'd go all the way back to the middle. You undo the bolts until the washers are loose underneath the bolt head and then just give them a little shake you can see it's loose and then we start in the middle and we do our torque down sequence of 170 newton meters again i've also cleaned off the paint pen off each bolt head that way i can mark them again properly you might also notice too that on the second torque down procedure the uh, bolts take up a lot quicker and I don't turn them as far. It's really noticeable when you're actually on the ratchet. And we just torque the head down exactly the way we did it the first time. 1 through to 26, 170 newton meters. Then we start at the middle again, 1 through to 26, 170 newton meters. And then we do our 120 degree torque turn. I'm going to speed this up just so it's not so boring.
So we're finishing it off with a torque turn. This is the home run for the head. So now we're going to just put an extra stripe on there so we know we're done and dusted. Last, we put our eight short bolts in and torque them to 60 newton meters. We don't have to loosen them off and tighten them like we did with the other ones. I like to go through from the middle to the outside and do that twice just to make sure they're torqued nicely. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this.